what are you gonna call it next? And, and the artist we put out on Interscope did well, but not as big as we were supposed to have for how much money they was giving us. You know, we had a lot to prove. It was a lot of pressure on me because I did a lot of work. You know what I mean? I, I was, Rico was in LA, finessing the deals and then coming back working. Sleepy was on the road as well as in the studio, but also trying to be an artist. At the peak of our success, we were kind of separate in a way. Uh, I had like started doing this whole other project and stuff. And I, it was a, it was a bunch of pressure for, for me to be in a room with six different kinds of artists. Sleepy's over here doing this. Rico's over here doing that. At that time, Rico was our voice. You know, he was our leader and everybody knew it. We had no problem saying it. But organized noise is and will always be three individuals. Because when you talk about organized noise, you talk about Rico, right? Rico was the guy that would speak for us. He was the leader. You know what I mean? I think, you know, when you're young and you got that much power, sometimes you run with it a little different. All of a sudden, you're taking private jets and you're hanging out with the Jimmy Iveens and the Clive Davises and the Sylvia Rones. But they don't understand that you're not organized noise. We could talk, but it started being more of we wasn't listening to each other. You know, we were kind of like starting to look at each other like, come on, man, what you doing? That in turn kind of made me withdraw a little bit. I feel like I was losing some myself a little bit. I had to step off for a minute, you know what I mean? I, I never said 